Let's take a look at Garcia's greens. Okay. Mm. Oh. The first impression is the um, the lighting is a bit too much. It's a bit too bright. The store layout itself looks, I think, yeah, it looks good. It's a bit sterile because of all the green and... and no, the, the, the layout of the shop is actually good. Like, from the first impression, the way the, the desks look, the shape of it, it looks like some high quality work. Okay, yeah, this looks kind of cheap. This looks like some grass texture. I think they shouldn't do like grass textures flat like that. Should either have like like some carpet that's supposed to look kind of like grass, but stylized, or they should actually have like some voxelized grass texture with some nice effects on it. So it actually looks like it's supposed to look like grass, but just the texture like that, it just looks cheap, I think. Let's look at the wood. Yeah, there's a nice contrast between the reflective plastic. Wait, the grass might actually be... Um, is it normal mapping or parallax mapping? I can't tell. It should be more pronounced to actually look like glass from a distance. Like have some, some voxelized height differences. Mm, the wood is a bit too bright and too clean, I think. Actually, that just looks kind of weird. What I do like is the styling of this uh, shop desk. It's similar to the other shops, I think, in the area. Um, the branding looks really nice. Here, yeah, roof looks nice. The light fixtures, yeah, they fit. However, I think the whole store is, is a bit too bright. some lazy texture over here, see? Just slap the texture that, that projects over it. It's a small prop, but it's not that important. Small prop. Fresh garden smoothie. That is green metality. Weekend warrior smoothie. Yeah, I'll try one of those. Rolling animations are still not really good. Put it in a better light. You just gotta put it in a nice light if you wanna re um, re yeah, really like. Yeah, that looks like really good plastic. I think the texture resolution should be a bit higher, but but uh, the reflectivity is really good. Has it the plasticky sheen in just the right amount that you would expect from plastic world? Figure out that hand rotation, I think. Nutrients. Leafy greens. Ugh. I like that. See the detail on the um, on the top um, sticker thingy. Uh, notice the sticker has appears to have its own golden rim, and the rim has a different reflectivity than the actual sticker. I think that's a really, really good looking detail. Yeah, they really put a lot of work in this one. Looks really great. Plastic. Yeah, let's take it. Yeah, they copied the animation from the other unscrew animation. That's a bit lazy, but I guess it, it's still work in progress. Also, the holding animation is...
<clears throat> Let's see. Yeah, they use the word greens a lot. Greens, rather. I mean, it's the name of the name of the shop, but everything is green. I think uh, balancing it out with a bit of non-green colors, just because it's a smoothie shop or whatever the thing is, like balance out the green a tiny bit. It looks a bit too sterile and white. On average, I think it's a good-looking shop. Just you could tone down the green in a few parts. Of it. Yeah, it looks good. The detail is a bit low when you get really close, but I'm assuming that's a prop you're supposed to see from two or three meters distance at least. Five meters more. Yeah. So I think it looks good from that distance. It looks really nice. Oh, it's really nice that they have all those fruits you can buy. Bloody blue Bilba. Move a bit so that. Okay, leaves look really good. Really good detail on the leaves. You see how the thing is missing. Good reflectivity in the leaf. The way it reflects. There's a certain leathery. Yeah, it looks like when you imagine you would run your finger over it, and that's how it would feel. That's really good texture work they did here on this one. I like this fruit, it has a certain fantasy look to it. So it's sci-fi, but it still looks like like it has a realism to it. The greeny leaves, they look fantastic. That's one of the best green leaves I've seen in video games recently. Really good job. I like that, that inset. Oh, wait a minute, that looks good. Oh my god. It has this weird plasticky sheen to it. Some would say it looks like plastic. However, I've seen paprikas that look like that. Is it called paprika in English? You know paprika that... I'm not sure if that thing even exists in English in that point. Almost a clay-like consistency from the, the different... Like the inner thing looks like an avocado, I think. And the outer part has a paprika sheen to it. I think it's a really great job that the texture artist did here. Because it didn't just slap one plastic texture with the whole thing, they actually had material separation going on. Actually really impressed by this food. Beautiful food, I think. Okay, let's try the watermelon. Okay, this one is kind of disappointing. I feel like um, the, the cut over here. The geometry is actually quite disappointing. And also the texture over here looks, looks kind of weird behind that one. What I do like is that inset. You see that inset on the... Wait, there's a moth matter. All the... We call the seeds. Have this parallax um, relief to it, the way they are placed in it. But the overall geometry of that slice could have used much more polygons. So yeah, the texture work is great, however the geometry of the slice looks actually really bad, I think. Obviously holding animations are still a work in progress. Yeah, it looks like great texture work, but holding on to that thing are just bad. Okay, next thing, what is that thing? What's that? Is that good lighting? Yeah, should be. Okay. Yeah, looks good. Has again this avocado type texture to it. A good detail, even if you zoom in, has a really good detail. Really impressive. Yeah, that looks good. The fruit itself doesn't look that... The shape isn't that interesting as the first fruit. However, texturing is really good on this one. Okay, what's that thing? Is that, is that a fruit on earth? Does the thing exist in? Yep. 
Good texture work over here. Certain orangey texture to it. Nice poke details. Like I wish the watermelon had the same amount of nice edited polygons. Like I'm really impressed by this. Uh, I assume it's a fantasy fruit, some alien thing. Looks really nice. Golden Madman, what is that? Let's be the, the fruit that's on her stand that you can find somewhere. That that looks interesting, yeah. Oh, I'm liking this texture. It, it's really nice. There's a, the basic plasticky uh, fruit texture, or whatever. We see that those spotty um, spots of some greasy reflective stuff on it. Yeah, the way the part is a more sheen, that is less sheen over here. That looks really good. Leaf textures look great. Could use a bit more detail. Yeah, the light reflects over here. Yeah, that, that spot, spot over here that's super glossy and polished, and then over here it gets like this, this dirty sheen to it. And the, the shape difference between those. Oh, wait, it's one of them. Yep, that's a really great fruit. Okay, what's that thing? Take a look at this one. And check in a better light. Root shape is interesting. But the texture looks a bit... Three, I'm not sure on this one. Yeah, we probably... Yeah, it just looks kind of weird. And you see, it doesn't have that, that elegant material separation between the, the previous fruits. It appears like the sheen is the same on, on the on the top of the leaves and below it. The, the sheen is kind of... The, they didn't put a separation. But this fruit is kind of average compared to the others. Fruits. I think they overdid the green on, on some parts here. And again, the lighting, it washes out most of the room over here. That, that's really bad, actually. It would look better with lower lighting. Anyway, it looks a bit better, but it's still too bright. The, the white floor and the lighting and all that. The music, it's it's elegant, it doesn't get in your way too much. Anything else to check out in the store? It has a really nice um, supermarket thing going on with the wooden frame and chalkboard. That's a really nice touch. So it has that, that homely supermarket grocery store thing going on. A really good detail. And it really separates it from, from the other stores. Also really good texture work on the reflectivity. That actually looks like a chalkboard, the way the light reflects off it. And it's a bit different than the polished wood over here. Oh, that part here looks a bit like a repeated texture because it doesn't cover it completely. Yeah, I think with, with better lighting, this would actually be a much more beautiful stuff. Very nice. Like the, <coughs> sorry, I really like that they went for the wooden um, framing over here. You're not liking the grass texture and that, that wood texture over here, they, they should have done a better job on that one. Mm, this is relatively low detail, that's actually quite annoying if you look at it up close. See here the, the stepping, 
and this this constant grease pattern on it. That's what I don't like in certain areas of this game, when the entire object has this even grease pattern to it. There's no localized damage or scratches. It's just the whole thing has this weird grease on it. It just looks weird. Okay, is there anything else on the stuff? So I think that was the whole review. The layout is great. The lighting damages quite a, damages the look quite a bit because it's it's simply too bright and it washes out. Um, it washes it just washes out the room, I think. Also, the fake green grass could use some touch up. The texture could use some touch up over here. The polygons are a bit too low. Low, the texture resolution on the metal is a bit low. So in comparison to what else you get in this, this area, it, it looks quite average. But for a store in the whole game, it actually looks really good. So I think, I uh, hope you like this video and as always, thanks for watching.